the bad man. Have been for a long time. That's three people likely killed with the same weapon. What's that? Found them on the floor. Your shooter's losing his mind. Anything else I can do for you? The room number again? It's on the key holder. Ah. The retainer for your services is ten million dollars. No. Call the contract on. I don't hurt children ever. Listen to me very carefully. The girl stays alive. You're answerable to me. Year-old and relocated to a group home. Was I here last night? Yes. What's wrong? You're sure. Hugo thinks it's a pro settling scores. Trafficking, Vincent Sierra. I can't keep doing your job for you. Who is this? You're too slow to make them pay. What they did to children. They're not doing anything about it. He's taking out the traffickers that we couldn't. He's interfering with an international investigation. You said he wasn't going to be a problem. I've done crazy things. Why don't you and I just have a talk? I know you're not well. No time for that. If I'm dead, you'll never know the truth. Stand down! I want to believe that you're a good man, Vincent. If I can't finish this, you have to. But they have to be punished. Which side of this do you really want to be on? I want justice. We all have to die. What's important is what you do before you go. What's up, everybody? White Mike the Realist, the mad critic here. Just got done watching the movie Memory, starring Liam Neeson. And this is my first reaction. Yes, sir. So stay tuned right after the intro. We're going to dive into it. Anyways, Memory starring Liam Neeson and a bunch of people that I don't know who the heck they are. But guess what? It doesn't matter because this is based around Liam Neeson. Actually, let me take that back. Guy Pierce. I love Guy Pierce, but he's been cast as a as a bad guy in quite a few uh quite a few movies or whatever, like a villain, a sneaky villain. But actually I I like Guy Pierce uh when he first came on the scene, what was that about 20 years ago? But yeah, Guy Pierce is good. But this movie is about Liam Neeson. He is a hitman who's getting older and he is suffering from memory loss, basically Alzheimer's disease, some form of dementia or whatnot. So he's like on a hitman job and he kind of loses his memory. But um, it's much deeper than that. And to be honest with you, it is a fresh breath of air to me to see this movie. It almost takes me back to Liam's days when he was doing Taken, like, this movie was intense. Um, I, I'm critiquing movies now, so I'm kind of like spoiled on what my favorite ones are. And as I get older in life, I kind of wonder, it's like, well, were my original favorite movies my favorite movies? But I remember at the time they were my favorite movies. But for the time being, it's kind of like they got to live up to these uh, references. Like my favorite movie of uh, Saving Private Ryan, Count of Monte Cristo. You know, the Shawshank Redemption was up there. The movie Blow with Johnny Depp was up there. Um, Tombstone was up there. There's been so many movies. But um, the original Takens, I, I really liked those movies. I would have given those like eights to nines. Um, this particular movie here, Memory, it was a big time thumbs up for me. I was real happy to uh, come out and watch watch this movie. I recommend you guys go see it. So, so I'm going to give you the, the keys to my, to my Jaguar. Jaguar. That's, That's right, right, I'm going to give it an eight. eight. Now, believe it or not, an eight is a really good score from me. So, big thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe. Until the next time, peace.